One week from tomorrow, this year's TV6 Canathon will wrap up with our hour-long commercial-free Canathon program from 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern Time. But before all that, we wanted to show you how your donation makes it to the home of someone in need. Tonight, TV6's Mallory Anderson takes you on the journey of one can from the store to the table. You think sometimes, oh, one can isn't going to make a difference. One can does make a difference. For 35 years, the TV6 Canathon has been helping feed a hungry neighbor in communities across the UP. But how does your donation get to that hungry neighbor? Well, to start, after you've chosen which non-perishable food item you'd like to donate, you can drop it off in one of the bins at a participating location. We've had to empty the bin on pretty much a daily basis here the last couple of weeks, so people are really getting behind it now. Then your donation gets picked up and taken for a ride on one of the trucks. Once your donation is picked up from one of the many participating locations, it's then taken here to Salvation Army or St. Vincent de Paul's or one of the many other local food pantries that are included in the TV6 Canathon. We come and pick up the groceries. We bring them to our building. We weigh them so we have an accurate count of how much is being donated. And then it goes moves immediately onto our food pantry shelves. Then finally from the shelves, your donation is chosen by someone in need and taken and home to feed their family. But what you may not realize is your donation goes further than just stocking shelves. The Canathon is just huge for the Salvation Army. That'll sustain us for the next three to four months with our needs. That allows us to use some of our other funds uh, into uh, building infrastructure, those types of expenses that we also have. But uh, getting that amount of food allows us to just pour that right back into our feeding programs. The TV6 Canathon runs through December 7th. For more information, visit our website at UpperMichiganSource.com. Mallory Anderson, TV6 News, Marquette.